Hey gang, Matt here with Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's quick video, we're going to show you the two basic ways for creating a sales order pick ticket. Um, I'm in a sales order. Uh, there's a couple things to keep in mind here. Uh, your sales order must be in an approved state and your validation status cannot be on hold. Uh, it will not let you print a pick ticket, obviously, uh, if something is not uh, validated and uh, has its cred credit overridden. Now, to print a pick ticket, you're going to have to go to the front counter tab. Uh, to select the uh, print uh, option here or fax for some reason. Uh, you can also at the same time print a packing slip if you like. Um, I'll, I'll make a quick note here. Um, I don't like having to bounce back and forth between tabs. Unfortunately, you can't Dyna change uh, to this screen the checkbox for printing the ticket like you can some other ones. You can, but you can't interact with it. Uh, so what we've done for people in the past is we've created a, a business rule that has basically another checkbox. When I check that on the front tab here, it would also check the pick ticket box here just to prevent you from having to um, bounce back and forth from tabs. I always like to have as many things on the main order tab as possible. Um, so once you have it selected, you just hit save to print, print your pick ticket in a PDF preview and then you print it to whatever uh, printer you would like. The other way to print multiple pick tickets or, or one at a time if you would like um, is the pick tickets report. Now, when you find it in your menu, it's only gonna say pick tickets. It's not gonna say pick ticket reports, uh, but when you open it, the screen will show pick ticket reports. Um, now there's a couple things to keep in mind here. It will default to order date of the day that you're running it and also the required date. I used to run into a lot of problems where I would go out and try to print pick tickets from today and it'd say, oh, there's no pick tickets to print. Realizing, well, the required date isn't for another week, so it's not going to allow you to print a pick ticket through this process that way. Now, you can manually go print it through the sales order regardless of what required dates are. But just keep that in mind. If you're not seeing some orders that you expected to see, make sure you double check those required dates because that is another hard stop when you're printing these pick tickets. Um, obviously, you're going to have to enter in whichever uh, sales location um, that you are trying to print pick tickets for. There's a bunch of different options on here. You can uh, pick to have only particular ship tos, customers, order ranges, all kinds of different things. Um, and again, I'm just going to leave it as default as the required date of today and the order date as of today. Um, but if you were trying to run pick tickets for tomorrow, you may want to think about changing your required date just to make sure you catch all of those, um, even if they were entered today. And then it's just a matter of simply of clicking print. Um, it will print all of the pick tickets into one document. So it is definitely quicker to do this and print uh, however many orders you may have, uh, which again, in, in this test system, I only have the one. Uh, but if there were multiple orders, it would have them all in one PDF and you'd print them and go. Uh, now, we'll cover it in a later video, but there is a way to create a pick ticket schedule. So it will run uh, periodically through your day. You can set up, you know, during the week and things like that. But we'll cover that in a different video. I just wanted to do this real quick. If you guys have questions about this or any other topics, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned. Uh, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.